the name that I'm very, very interested in name is NVIDIA, okay? If you look at the 60 minute channel and the video, you'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trade .com, uh, nightly uh, update. Uh, I, just, I have to cut this unfortunately uh, short tonight. Uh, I have something to take care of, uh, but I just want to kind of give you guys uh, the perspective of what I'm seeing for tomorrow. First of all, uh, Q's, the NASDAQ 100 did an incredible job today. Uh, they got pulled very, very aggressively. If you look at the open, uh, the Q's really, really lost it. And again, we talked about on the weekend video is, again, the market is not gonna just tap you on the shoulder after a monster run and say, okay, we're about to sell off. It's just gonna sell off. And the, we just saw really aggressive selling today all across the board. If you look at the queues, they're really gonna mirror a lot of these names. Uh, Amazon got really, really hit at the open. Amazon and Facebook and NVIDIA, all these names. But again, in true fashion uh, of the market, and this is exactly what we've been seeing uh, all year. A matter of fact, you can go back to the last several years and you'll see exactly the same thing. People are really buying the dips. And again, as long as there is no fear in the market or a materialistic view to kind of pull your money out, people are still defending prices. And when you look at what the queues did today, and again, um, you know, I apologize if we're going to cut this a little bit short today, but I want to kind of give you an example of what I think is going to happen. If you look what happened here, the queues got defended. They defended not only the 10-day moving average, but the five-day as well. And again, if you're watching this broadcast for the first time, the five-day moving average for me is, is by far uh, the most important for short-term sentiment. Any close above confirms an uptrend. Any close below starts a potential back test in the future. So it's very, very important. But at the same time, if you look where the leadership is, you really have to start looking at the semiconductors, right? A lot of names, as the market was still selling off, were very, very strong. And if you look at AMD, for example, a huge option flow all day. You saw uh, the near-term uh, hundreds, the 105 calls, very, very aggressive. Uh, a name, for example, a name, for example, like Apple that broke out today as well. Again, first close over 19. Uh, you see close, trading closer to the 20 area. If you look at the weekly call buying and the speculation money, you'll start seeing again uh, 120s, 123 weekly call expiration. So the buyers are still there. Uh, again, what I want to see from the rest of the group is something very, very more dynamic. I want to see the Netflix wake up. And again, all those names uh, that we covered for the last four days or the last three days or so, they still haven't broken out macro. And that's the only part that kind of worries me. When you're getting this much order flow, especially in speculation names, again, uh, the SPAC names, again, over and over and over again, and you start seeing semiconductors being bid up on a lot of names, it's very important to see kind of the whole group bid up. And again, if you go back to uh, the semiconductor names, look what's on tap. You got, you know, you got Maxim, right? You got Maxim uh, very, very close to breaking out. Even Intel, who is kind of dead in the water for the last three days, this is the first close over supply. So again, if you go through your charts tonight, you'll start seeing a lot of semiconductor plays. And those are the names. Again, we're looking for leadership. We're looking for anything that, again, is coming out of macro channels, either the bottom or the middle ranges. Again, what we talked about over and over again, the stocks that rallied first, that had those really, really big moves into orbit, those are the names that are getting pulled down first. Again, we want to avoid those names. So again, uh, AMD really like for tomorrow's session. Uh, Apple, if it starts confirming uh, today's price target, uh, price action as well, especially right here, uh, can be very good. But the name that I'm very, very interested in name is NVIDIA, okay? If you look at the 60-minute channel and the video, you'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here, right? This was a fake pop here. This whole channel here represents a very, very dynamic base, okay? If it could clear out this dynamic base here and close anywhere in the 540s, Look how much room you have, right? You have your first initial move to 550, but again, the trade will start macro any close over the 550 area. And again, if you look at the option order flow, there were really aggressive call buyers coming in for a near-term 550 uh, expiration. So again, that's something to watch. The one thing that I don't like still, again, names like a Netflix should have came out of this channel already, still 
didn't. Facebook, again, has every opportunity to come out of the channel, still doesn't. And again, the one thing that we want to make sure that going forward, especially into uh, any type of potential run into the fourth quarter, is having the ability to, again, get out of danger's way. Again, remember, the last thing you want to do is get into overextended stocks. So it's incredibly important to watch these names. Uh, after the after the close, you, you saw Tesla, uh, kind of the confirmation that they got added to the S&P 500. Again, it's not really new news. Uh, if you look at the market flow and you look at the option flow ahead of time, you'll see they were coming for the 700, the 750 call buyers, very, very sh a strong and near expiration. But again, the most important part here is a, it's something that we've known all along. There is no fear and stocks that are sh still strong are continuing to be strong. Uh, ZM came out with earnings after the close. Again, I don't think anybody really doubted that they were going to crush their quarter. Matter of fact, if you look at their quarter, they did very, very well. Okay, incredibly well. Matter of fact, I, I think I read uh, in any business that um, employed over 10 employees, I think they were like 450%, 480% uh, higher compared to the previous year. So nobody really doubted because of the stay at home movement that there was going to be a big, you know, big number posted. The question with Zoom kind of going forward is, okay, this is great. Now we got the vaccines on top. What do you got for us next? And that's kind of the most important part. It's the paying for potential. Again, like I said it today uh, in the webinar, it's like drafting Kobe Bryant, Kevin Garnett. You're not drafting the 19 year old kid to be your, 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 your saving grace. You are drafting these guys to pay for potential what they could turn into uh, in the future. And fortunately for Zoom, the market is kind of speaking pretty loud here after the close and, s and shares are being sold off. So again, guys, I think going into tomorrow's session, um, I'm definitely bullish. I, I, I really am. I would love to see the video break. Again, the video just has so much room. If we start seeing early call buying coming in, I really want to pay attention uh, to that as well. But if you look at the cues just from the macro point of view, uh, the market Market did very very well today. Uh, aggressive pull into the open, remount off the five-day moving average, and now we are very very close to reclaiming uh, this 299 300 level. And again, if we do get that big push, you could get a push all the way up uh, to the 304 basis. So again, trade smart every single day, guys. You don't need to you know you don't need to go nuts. Uh, you don't need to press and keep on pressing. Try to reinvent the wheel every single day. Again, there's going to be days that is going to be exploding with value, right? I mean, really, really good moves. And there's gonna be days that even though the market is acting very, very well, sometimes your process will not be highlighted. And that's okay as well. Just the way the stocks uh, stall out and need a rest, Again, your process is going to be exactly the same way. So it's very, very important to kind of watch the themes. I'm definitely watching semiconductors for tomorrow. I'm definitely watching Apple uh, for continuation move uh, for tomorrow as well. But the most important part, guys, take it day by day, trade by trade. Again, I apologize for cutting this early. I just have to take care of something uh, tonight. And again, I just wanted to kind of get you guys uh, prepared for tomorrow's session. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow.